Welcome to Runway Academy. Today we're going to discuss the basics of prompting for text to video in Gen 2. Let's navigate to Gen 2, click on text to video and enter an extremely simple prompt, a dog. Now click free preview to see our starting images. Great, we now have four images of various dogs that we can turn into videos if we want but we can start to get more specific with our prompting by including things like the type and color of dog breed, the location of the dog, or the time of day. Let's try a light-colored French Bulldog laying on a couch during the day. As we start to add more detail to our prompt, the images and resulting videos start to reflect those details in a more meaningful way, giving us more control over our outputs. Now, taking it a step further, we can start to include details about the type of shot we're going for. For example, an extreme close-up, shallow depth of field portrait photo of a light-colored French Bulldog laying on a couch during the day. The more information you add about the details, set, and setting, the more control you'll have over your outputs. That being said, there's really two main things that you should focus on, what it looks like and what it is. Let's try a simple example. A painting of is what it looks like and a bowl of fruit is what it is. But now let's add more detail a textured historical oil painting of a bowl of fruit on a wooden table in a farmhouse kitchen. These two prompts essentially contain the same subject matter, but one is more detailed and nuanced to achieve a specific look. The last thing I want to cover is style presets and prompt modifiers. Style presets in Gen 2 can be found at the bottom of the prompt box and have a huge influence on the style of your output results. Style presets can be used even with the most simplified prompts, so definitely experiment with some of these if there's a specific style you're trying to achieve. Additionally, you can utilize prompt modifiers to gain further control over your generations. Prompt modifiers are essentially descriptive words that can be tacked on to the end of a prompt to help control the output even further. These modifiers can be added as comma-separated values at the end of your prompt. Let's try the prompt, a photo of a city skyline made out of paper. Now let's add some prompt modifiers onto the end. Burnt texture, black and gray color palette, flat composition. These prompt modifiers will help steer our generation into a more stylized and specific direction. Prompt modifiers can also be used with style presets to give you even more control over your generations. When prompting, just remember, focus on what it looks like and what it is, include relevant prompt modifiers, and keep it as focused as possible and try and avoid things like run-on sentences, unnecessary filler words, too many concepts in a single prompt, or prompt modifiers that are contradictory. With this formula and those rules in mind, you are ready to take more control over your generations and start creating in the specific style that you want. For more helpful resources, join our community on Discord where you'll find lots of information and experimentation using Runway, or you can find a specific answer to your question by using this button on your dashboard at any time.